Ah oh, yeah, there it is. So you know what? Uh, Kwandi used to give us article from TOEFL, not from Jakarta Post this time, from TOEFL, and then we had to, you know, uh, read them, following the recorded speech in TOEFL CD and like military training. So we practice that again, again, and again, and again, and again. It's like the Shaolin, Shaolin practice, right? Right. Ah. Uh. So maybe you will you will think, oh, so boring. But again, like what Bruce Lee said, he's not afraid of somebody who practice 10,000 types of kick. He's afraid of somebody who practice one type of punch or one type of kick for 10,000 times. <laughs> All right. Um, so that helps me a lot in my career now as a translator and an interpreter. What else? Anyone has got any questions for me? So uh, I would love I'm to, to a show a little bit yeah. for boosting up their ability. I mean, how the practice of the training of the Bruce Lee seems uh, the the Shaolin the Shaolin practice seems so powerful. I mean, these even kids, the little one, they have uh, only around eight years old. But it seems like uh, they really need to train, do the training while they were on even at uh, four or five o'clock in the morning. We can see it here. Okay, I'm going to start the work uh, showing you guys. Wait, wait a minute. We are going to share the screen. You can see from here. Brian and Z, please notice. Thank you. For this group of 10 year olds, it's about to get a whole lot worse. The same as it does every morning. This mountain is around 1,000 meters high. It takes an adult an hour and a half to climb to the top. These boys are required to climb it in 20 minutes. As soon as they have reached the peak, they are required to crawl down again on their hands and knees. So if you guys can imagine this sh sh little Shaolin monks, these children are will Shaolin do that every day, right? Disciples. Shaolin followers are divided into secular disciples and martial monks. To become a martial monk demands the finest in both Kung Fu skills and Buddhist devotion and is a title that can only be conferred by their masters. Right. If you can, if you can see that, these kids actually they always repeat the their repetition. They always do the same repetition again, again, and again. Can you pause there? Uh, wait a minute, yeah. I'm going to find the uh, which one. This is the. 10 oh, years, right. uh, this kid has already trained for many years already, but she is the, he is one of the experts in the Wu Qi Kong. Being smart, he also has the right build to learn Tong Ji Gong, or Juvenile Ji Gong, a mystical Shaolin Kung Fu that requires both spiritual and physical training. Tong Ji Gong has given him a clear edge over his peers and marks him out as particularly gifted. It's impossible to trace the origins of Tongji Gong. The myths surrounding Kung Fu are many. 
But okay, we will see another one, yeah? Buddhist... The, the, this kid now. It requires great flexibility of tendons and joints, which is why five to six-year-old boys are at the best age to practice this skill. They even use their hands like it was their feet. These two nine-year-old boys who have practiced basic Tongji Gong for four years have made the most fragile parts of their bodies become deadly weapons. You can see. They can use their heads as though they were their feet. Ah, this one the is the uh, older one. Basic Tongji Gong may move on to advanced Tongji Gong when they are older. This 18-year-old student has practiced advanced Tongji Gong for six years and demonstrates the extremes of flexibility capable by the human body. Learning advanced Tongji Gong is similar to learning Qi Gong. Actions are soft but powerful, can see how stretching human joints to the limits of endurance. A master of advanced Tong Ji Gong their, their can bend his are. limbs to seemingly how? impossible angles. How can you do this? A normal person can bend his foot back no more than 90 degrees, keeping his knee straight. A Tong Ji Gong master can bend his foot back through 180 degrees. So how does this extraordinary flexibility like help this. with Kung Fu? Gandhi, would you be able to pause that? Because I have some remark to make that probably would be interesting. According to Master Shi Hen... Yeah. Uh, uh, so as you can see, like the Shaolin monks, they did that so intensely every day, right? Yeah. So um, at Gandhi's class, we also did the same thing but imagine doing that while reading so we didn't do stretching our feet or legs etc practicing kicks and punches no but we practice speaking for you know like the brain piece again and then also reading and then also uh reading uh reading as fast as we could and then we would compete who is who was the fastest in reading an article and a client would take note oh now for today it's Harry Harry is the winner because he spoke the fastest for today that's that's what Kwan did and then this record will accumulate every day we meet you know so after completing one uh, article or two articles and then we can see how fast we speak so that was very challenging so basically if you keep on practicing then you'll be able to make it and i think i can only be like this because um, i can only improve my english that much when i was still at high school because of those practices all right so i wonder if you still have any questions maybe related to what i'm doing or anything or personal questions or anything up to you because i think i have to go in about five minutes or so because i have class after this uh so uh, what makes yep. you become an interpreter yeah i mean okay I also feel a little bit curious about the ways like uh, from you start from the learning after the senior high school and then you join the university, you finish it cum laude with 3.98 GPA, great point average. And also, how could it be possible for you from the lecturer then you can turn the direction into uh, the interpreter especially you can bring all the delegates from Indonesia into the Netherlands and be trusted with such a quite strong belief for interpreting whatever that they are saying it means that you have already run the international scale job already uh, then <laughs> it will be very interesting thing for you to tell us because it will motivate right. the others the way you are doing it.